uh, if anybody prefers to ask a question in Spanish, yeah, please, please feel free to ask a question away in Spanish. Uh, the answer will still be in English so that everybody can benefit from the, from the reply. But don't feel, uh, don't feel shy about asking in Spanish. Don't worry about it. So right now, the, the first thing we're going to do here, so we're going to start doing the practice session. And for the practice session, we're going to have a hands-on experience on Linux. So there are, there are many ways to install Linux, but in this case, we went for the most straightforward, which is just emulate a Linux environment under whichever system you have. So please turn on your laptop and just log in as you would, uh, as you would normally do. And each of us are going to go around helping you. We have three, well, four USB sticks uh, with the programs that we need to install. What we're going to be installing your laptops, it's uh, kind of an emulator. This is a virtual machine. This is going to run a Linux operating system under your Windows or MacOS operating system. Right? We have downloaded the virtual machine. We have downloaded the image of the of the operating system, which is by Linux. Yeah, and we're gonna uh, all of us. We're gonna be helping you install it and get it sorted so that you can get it started with this Linux uh, Linux uh, operating system. So we're the. So what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna install the Oracle virtual machine. I would tell you to download it, but it's gonna take forever to download. Please just start there, there, here, and here. Yeah, you can. Oh yeah, you'll start with him. Yeah. There's a DMG file for the. Yeah. For, do you need? Do you have Linux? Are you gonna install it? So I'm guessing it's about it's about lunchtime. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is I think almost everybody has already installed the virtual machine. It's working, right? You should all have the BioLinux uh, 8 running uh, as a virtual machine. Now, one of the downsides of having it as a virtual machine is that you're, uh, you're spending twice as much memory as you usually would. Because you're running Windows in the background, and on top of that, you're, you're running uh, Linux. Right? Uh, it's not the ideal way to do it, but it's going to work for you. So if you could all please open there and just take a look at the left panel and you'll see a small icon that looks like a black screen have you seen it so just don't install anything right now it's going to take forever to, to install so just ignore that and you'll see here a small icon with the shape of a black screen just open that one so this is the all powerful shell all right if you want to know where in your computer in your virtual machine you are located and this is where we're going to stop the exercise until uh, after the, the launch break you just type this, this word, PWD. It's, it's just to show what's your working directory. And enter. If you remember my previous presentation, you'll see that there is a slash home directory. And then after home, you'll have several. Yeah, in this case, there is only one user because it's only you. Nobody has created any additional users. And your username, in every case, is going to be manager. All those directories are default under your home name, uh, under your home directory. So you can go to either of them. Uh, for example, if you want to move, change your current location from wherever you are to one of these directories, just type CD, which stands for change directory. And I'm going to teach you a, a, a very uh, trick. Uh, for example, let's say we want to move to the, all right, let's start with the capital D and then press the, the, the tab, the tab button twice. You'll see that it will auto complete. Have you guys done it? Did it autocomplete for you? Now you'll see that if you do, do it twice, it will select the first one. The default one would be desktop. So you put the second letter in, the O, and you will, again, tap. I'll give you two options, documents or download. Just put the third one, C, and then it will automatically complete the only option available, document, and enter. Now what you've done here is you've changed your working directory from home manager, home manager, document. If you want to test this, just run the first command that I told you, PW, to check that you have actually changed your directory. So if, like, if you'd like to see what, what it feels like to be in the root of the whole thing, just type the, uh, CD slash. That means CD root, change directory and enter. And after that, you just type an LS. You'll see that the root has a, a bunch of different directories with different color, uh, file color, colors. What I was showing you at the under root, you will find a myriad of different uh, directories. The one, that, the one that you should be using is under home user, your own user, which in this case is home manager. That's where you should put all your files, your practices, etc. 
it should all go there so if you want to go there just go cd slash home manager pwd and then you're back if you want to jump between the last uh, your last directory and the current directory you can do cd minus cd minus will jump to the last directory you were in root and then i write cd minus again and it will go back these are just small tricks to move around uh, the Linux environment so that you can change it easily, move around easily, you can explore whatever you want. Now, you will notice that you don't have a way, uh, an easy way to check for files that are under Windows. You can only check files that are under Linux. Yeah, you need to create a shared directory in order to uh, unmount it in Linux in order to be able to share documents between your Windows uh, uh, operating system and your Linux operating system. After the lunch break, we're going to take a look at how to mount. Uh, a device or a, a direct a external directory through the the virtual machine and how we can just copy things or the load things into our Windows system put it in the shared file and then import them uh, into the Linux virtual machine right I think it's do you have any questions well if you want to change the amount of RAM that by default goes into your uh, image into your uh, your virtual machine you can just right click uh, when you're about to load it you can right click on the BioLinux 807, I think it appears, and you'll go to configuration. And under configuration, you will be able to set the amount of RAM that you want to use for that virtual machine. So here, for example, here, for example, if you see BioLinux 8.807, you just right click in it, settings, yeah, and more often than in system, you can get, you can tell them how much memory to use. You can just move this around to give as much memory as you want uh, uh, around. Uh, in this case, we have 16. You have 16. Yeah, you have 16 gigs of RAM, so we can give it. You, we can easily give it four, even up to. I, I would say up to eight. It will even tell you the 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 green the green light will tell you what's safe to use as a as a RAM for this. Yeah, but we will keep it in eight. Yeah, that should be. That should. If you only have eight gigs of RAM in your machine, please don't go above four gigs. Just keep it on, on, on four gigs. It should be the default. Yeah, you have to. That, that's before you load it. You have to turn off the machine. And then before loading, you right click uh, and change to the default setting. At least I don't know. Uh, I don't know where, where